Hello, kids. It's such a pleasure to meet all of you once again. Hello, Holly. Yes, we all are so excited to hear another story from you. And I love these stories about the women of the Bible. I am sure Gumbo and Tubby like them too. Yes, of course. We love them. So, who are you going to tell us about today? Today. I was thinking of telling you the story of Eve. Eve? As in the Eve of Adam and Eve? That's correct, Freckles. We have all heard about Eve, haven't we? We all know how it all began with Adam and her. So today we are going to hear the story of Eve. Eve is the very first woman in the whole wide world. She is the very first wife and the very first mother after God created the earth. God created Eve in His own image of woman out of Adam's rib, and brought her to Adam and called her His wife. God said to Adam, "This is now bone of your bones and flesh of your flesh. She will be called woman, for she was taken out of man." God then made a garden for Adam and Eve to live in, and called it the Garden of Eden. In the Garden of Eden, there was a particular tree called the Tree of Knowledge. God said, "Adam and Eve, you should certainly not eat the fruits of this tree, or you shall die." Eve was the first woman to meet Satan in the form of a serpent. Satan tempted her to eat a fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and bad. Satan said, "You will certainly not die. God knows that if you eat from this tree, you will be like God and know all about good and evil, just like He does." Eve gave in to the temptation to become wise and powerful like God. She even gave some to Adam, who at first refused, but eventually ate it. They completely disobeyed God's command of not eating from the tree of knowledge. God was very angry with them. What is this that you have done? The serpent cheated me. He tempted me to eat the fruit, and I ate it. God asked Adam and Eve to leave from the Garden of Eden and toil and work for themselves. Eve was very ashamed of her actions, but she continued to be hopeful and faithful to God. Her faith and love pleased God, and He decided not to punish her by destroying her completely. He blessed her with children. Eve rejoiced. She learned all about compassion and forgiveness from God, and had two children named Cain and Abel. And eventually, her descendants included Jesus, the Savior of the world. That was an amazing story, Holly. I loved it to bits. I am glad you did, Freckles. Now it's time for you to answer a question. Let's see who wins brownie points today. Yeah. Bring it on. Well, my question is, what was the name of the tree God forbid Adam and Eve to eat from? Oh, that's a very easy question, Holly. I know the answer. The tree was called the tree of knowledge of good and bad. Well done, Tubby. That is the correct answer. Yes, I win one brownie point. Yes, you do. Hope you were able to win brownie points too. We'll be back soon with another story. Keep watching. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars.
stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep.